Good evening, good evening, good evening. Here I am back with my folks again. I want to tell you, this is going to be the riskiest spiritual time I have probably ever done in my life. No lie. No lie. No lie. No lie. This is going to be the riskiest one I have ever done in my life. What's going on with Gaye? I'm shouting all my people out. Shouting all my people out. Y'all know how I do. You know how we do. So glad to see all of you. So glad to see absolutely every single one of you. This is a magical, magical day because I'm doing something I've never done ever in my life. And I'm going to explain it to you here in a minute. It's very, very risky. It's very, 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 very risky. But here I am and I'm going to try it. And I think it's going to work. No, I know it's going to work. What's going on, Omi Mau? Hey, 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 hey. What's going on, great woman of God? What's going on, Bolanile? Yes, yes, yes. Love you, love you, love you. Terry Hollowell, what's going on, Sue? What's going on, my childhood friend whom I've always adored? Love you. Hey, 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 Ire Ife Oluwa. Love you, love you, love you. Kamara Coxum, what's going on all the way? I always shout you out. All the way from Cairo, Egypt. Kenneth Hammond, my friend, my brother, my buddy. Man, I'm, uh, listen, I'm out on the limb today. I am out on the limb today. Obata Kufanyatana. What's going on, dude? Yes, yes, yes. Chop up here. <laughs> Vernetta Perkins. What's happening, baby? Love you. You're doing such amazing things in Selma. Don't ever, ever, ever get discouraged. Don't ever get discouraged, Vernetta. I'm just hearing that in the spirit for you. Don't ever get discouraged. People think they know you. Don't ever get discouraged. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, Baba Mo? Hey, great, great, great man. Jeffrey Howard, how you doing? Charlotte, what's up? What's up? Yes, Alicia Fontenac, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Wambui and Umi Nazafa, yes. Absolutely, love y'all. Hey, listen, if y'all don't mind, everybody just take a minute and just push your share button. If you don't mind, just take a minute and share, right? Woo, this is gonna be so risky. I'm so nervous about this. But y'all, if y'all don't mind, take a risk and share it right now. Share it right now, even as you're watching. I'd appreciate that so much. Kamario Lawrence, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Romaine, you know I love you, man. How you doing? How you doing? Yes. Y'all, the reason this is risky is because today, the title of this today is Go When You Have Nothing. Go When You Have Nothing. Go When You Have Nothing. And today, God did not give me a topic. Today, I did not research a topic. I tried all week long. I begged God for it. And what I kept hearing in my spirit is, trust God, trust God, trust God. And this time, what God is trusting me to do is to pull up from the years and years and years and years of work that I have done and the years of reading I've done and to trust that I have something to say, even if God stole the possibility that I could prepare for it. So I'm coming, but I don't know what I'm about to say. It's the scariest thing in the world. And I'm going to do the Proverbs and I have no Proverbs. I didn't find any Proverbs. I didn't make up any Proverbs. I'm going to make them up right here on the spot. God help me. Oh, God, help me. Help me, oh, God. But listen, it doesn't make sense to trust God and doubt all the time. Now, listen, again, I'm just out in the ocean tonight. I usually, my process is that I think it through, you know what I mean? I'll think a topic through, and then I'll jot down some ideas. I never write everything completely out, but I'll jot down some ideas. How you doing, Sharon Brownlee? What's going on, Angela Sims? My love, my love, my love, right? I'll, I'll, um... I'll jot down some ideas and, and I get a chance to mull over and kind of think through it. Today, I have nothing. But God said, go anyway. Go when you think you have nothing. Ooh, God, I don't know what I'm about to say, but I'm believing in it before I open my mouth. What's going on, Mama Fujo? Just getting the family together right now. Yes, yes, yes. Rebecca Wilcox, what's going on? What's going on? Yes, 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 yes. I'm coming this evening the way we got off those slave ships with seemingly nothing. But with everything in us. Oh, God, help me today. Woo! Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. God Almighty, help me. Y'all, come on. Come on, Barbara. Yes, 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 yes. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. There are those in the wilderness right now who are preparing to present gift projects to themselves and to the world. I'm speaking nothing but success over all of y'all who are preparing for these gift projects. We call it wilderness too, the depth, the deeper part of the wilderness. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all got this. Oh, you have it. You do have it. 
you definitely have it. Melva Sampson, when I tell you I was feeling you, I'm serious. I'm Melva Sampson, I'm telling you I was feeling you. Go when you have nothing. Oh my God, help me. Help me, help me. Melva Sampson, I love you. I love you. Yes, Ife Tayo, I love you. I appreciate you. I adore you. Yes, yes, yes. Lisa Patterson, Muenda, you are, you are amazing. You're, you're wonderful. Jesse Lee, my son. Hey, you're, you're awesome and, ma and magical, Jesse Lee. I'm standing right here and I'm pulling, brother. Stand with me. Help me out. Help me out. I'm going to get going here in a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm just welcoming everybody. I have no slate. I have no plan, but I'm trusting God. Now, this doesn't mean planning is bad. No, no. Oh, no, no. You Let me be clear that I'm not saying that. Planning is wise. That's called wisdom. In this instance, I planned to trust God. I planned to come with nothing. I planned to say, you know what? I'm going to believe in myself and God at the same time. And here I go. Winifred Brown, my sister. How you doing? I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Joe Stu, the freestyle master. If you don't know Joe Stu, you better find him. You, be you had better find Joseph Stewart. If you don't know who Joe Stu is, you better find out. An amazing, amazing young man. Talent like crazy. Talent like crazy. Thank you so much, Joe Kai. I love you. I love you for always helping me out. Hey, y'all, don't forget to share. Don't forget to share. If y'all don't mind, push share. Push share. Ashanti Taylor. <laughs> I love that woman. One of the greatest young women I know of. So, 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 so amazing. So amazing. Umi Imoe Ese Uno. Mother from God. That woman is Yemen Ya. That woman is Obatala. That woman is Oshun. She's every deity conceivable. <laughs> and listen, uh-huh, uh-huh. Woo, I'm sweating because y'all, I'm going to trust. Now, I'm telling you, I'm going to do, do it. But I have, I'm going to be very, very vulnerable with you and tell you I'm under a little stress about it. I'm under a little stress about it. I'm under a little stress about it because I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where we're going with it, but we're going somewhere. What's going on, Oso B.A., my nephew in Arkansas? I love you. I love you. I love you. Delvin Benson, love you, man. Love you. Suzanne Newsom, you are awesome. I appreciate you. Mother Rose Norman, I love you. Tosha Oliver, you know I'm looking for you. Anytime I come, I'm looking for you. Essanam, anytime I come, I'm looking for you. Y'all don't forget to press share. Thank y'all for pressing share. Woo wee. I'm going to just give folks like another, maybe another 30 seconds here just to get us moving, get us going. Thank you all for coming. I know it's holiday weekend. I don't know who's coming and who's not coming. Listen, doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. William DeBose, I love you. I love you, man. I love you for holding me up. I love you for holding me up. I'm doing the Kibali, Kibili Ma'a today. I'm in a little fear, but I'm coming anyway. Scared don't mean stop. Scared don't mean stop. Scared means press. Scared means press. Scared means press. Scared means press. Go anyway, or either you're going to walk in a circle. Oh, God, help me today. Help me today. Help me today. Hey, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Whoo. Melva Sampson says, Harriet didn't know where she was going at first, but she ended up in freedom. <laughs> what? That's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. Leon Hendricks, you know I love you, man. I love you for standing with me all the time. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I really appreciate you. Catherine Patricia Carter, you are my girl. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Ekio, Ekio, Jiburojo. I love you. 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 Oh, my God, y'all. Here I am. Here I am. Here we are. Here I am. God, help me. God, help me. And you know what? Yes, I'm coming. And I'm going to step out. I'm going to do five Proverbs. I have no Proverbs written. I have no Proverbs in my head. I'm going to pull them from the universe and from the wealth of what God has given me in my entire lifetime. I'm going to pull from things we've maybe talked about somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's just going to come from my head and I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you what I got. Charlotte Williams, I'm going to give you what I got. But y'all, what we have is always enough. It's always excellent. And what I'm feeling right now, I'm kind of getting started, is sometimes, sometimes when we don't trust, we actually eat away at our cre creativity. Trust really means your creativity will follow you. Your creativity will lead if you'll let it. Sometimes we're scared of our own excellence. Not the failure. 
not the failure. Sometimes we're scared of our own excellence. Why? Because I've got myself in a rut of comfort of where I, where I, what I think I know. I know what I think I am. God might be saying you're 15 times greater than what you think you are. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And trusting God is simply saying, listen, God, show me me. Ooh, show me who I am. Show me the fullness of who I am. And that's what I'm coming to do right now. I'm coming to get a glimpse of my own glory. I'm coming to get a glimpse of my own beauty. I'm coming to encourage you to take a glimpse of your own beauty. And you know what this means too? Y'all, I'm coming to get clear that if I fall on my face, that's okay too. I'm gonna get up and do it again. I'm coming next Friday again. I don't intend to fall on my face. I don't think I'm gonna fall on my face. But if I do, Listen, I'm going to rearrange this face and I'm going to get up and come again next Friday. Hey, listen, this is what messes up so many people when it's time for you to manifest your destiny, when it's time for you to manifest an idea. Our fear that it won't work is greater than our fear that it will. Oh, God. <sighs> Stay with me. Stay with me. So here I go. Woo, y'all help me out. Proverb number one. Don't walk with God, but trust fear most. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Don't walk with God, but trust fear most. Ooh, God, help me today. I don't know where that came from. Listen, that thing was for me right there. Did you hear me? That thing was for me right there. I'm just pulling these out of my spirit. Oh, God, help me. Number two. When you plant a seed, you still have to wait. God, what is God doing? When you plant a seed, you still have to wait. Rodney Good, I love you. I love you. I love you, Rodney Good. I'm going to say it till the sun goes down. I love me some Rodney Good. You have to know that. You got to know that good man. That's an awesome man. Plant a seed and you still have to wait. Meaning, just because you planted it, planted the seed, just because you planted it, doesn't mean you get fruit right now. No, sir. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Why? Because the germination period has still got to happen. The germination period is God's time to put God's ashe on your planting. And you want that ashe. Otherwise, you'll have a dirty seed. Come on, somebody. Otherwise, you'll just have a dirty seed. The ashe of God brings your seed to pass. You can't plant and shout. You can't plant today and harvest tomorrow. Come on. I'm just, and listen, again, I'm just pulling out of my spirit. Okay, let me get another one. 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 <sighs> ah, the young think they see clearly, but the elders clearly see. The young think they see clearly, but elders clearly see. <sighs> My God. Wow. Okay, I'm just trusting y'all. Y'all see, I'm not looking down at no paper because I don't have anything. I'm coming with just the pureness of whatever's in my spirit. Next proverb. I don't even know what number I'm on. Next proverb. Next proverb. Every fruit has a flavor. Every fruit has a flavor. But not every fruit is your preference. Every fruit has a flavor, but not every fruit is your preference. Oh, my God. Just because you prefer, just because you don't prefer a thing doesn't mean it ain't sweet. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's not good. Ooh, God, God, help me. Oh, God. Teach me this evening, oh God. Teach us, teach your people together, oh God. Teach us together, oh God. Next proverb. I woke up this morning unsure of things, but my breath should have assured me. I woke up this morning unsure of things, but my breath should have assured me. God help me on today. Ooh. 
my breath should have been enough to assure me. Oh, my God. Teach me, oh, God. Teach me, oh, God. Y'all, this is really, I, I, this is humbling me. Seriously, this is humbling me because I'm unsure of myself right now. I'm unsure of myself right now, but I'm moving nonetheless. I'm going anyway. God help me. God help me. Next proverb. Next proverb. <clears throat> um, I give thanks for what God said no to. Uh, okay, God, I'm done. I'm done. I give thanks to what God said no to. Ooh, help me this evening. I give thanks for what God said no to. <sighs> Hadari Williams, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Thank you for being here with me. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm in this place right now. This is really, really, really crazy. This is crazy. My God, help me. Wow. Next proverb. For everything you try to do alone. For everything. You try to do alone. That's the first part of it. Let me get the second part. Again, I'm reaching. Stay with me. For everything you try to do alone. Ah! <laughs> for everything you try to do alone, there is a communal effort that will beat it. For everything you try to do alone, there is a communal effort that will beat it. You can sing all the solos all day long and do all the runs from day to night, and you'll never have harmony by yourself. God, help me today. God, help me today. God, help me today. Mm, mm, mm. Next proverb. What sense does it make? What sense does it make to question yourself when everyone else in the world has already done it? <laughs> what? What sense does it make to question yourself when the world has already done it? Wow. God, give it to me. Give it to me, oh God. 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 Ooh, wow. Okay, y'all keep feeding me. Y'all keep believing in me. I'm reaching, I'm reaching. I'm gonna do a few more. Akosua, what's happening? What's happening, my sister? Love you, love you, love you. Okay, I'm gonna do a few more. <laughs> Um, ah, no good cook, no good cook has ever eaten everything they prepared. Oh my God. No good cook has ever eaten everything they've prepared. God help me. In other words, any cook, you burnt something. Any cook has made an error and put too much salt in something. Every cook has made the error of, of messing up a dish. That's how you master it. Oh, gee, Brother Ty Samuels, my beautiful black son. I love that man. Love you, man. That's how you get it right. You get it right by messing it up. Oh, God. Y'all help me. Oh, God, help me. When I, I'm physically trembling right now because I feel like the world is watching me, right? And I'm out on the limb, but I'm going to stay on this limb. I'm going to stay right here on this limb. God, help me tonight. I'm going to stay right here on this limb. My God, no cook has ever eaten everything they've prepared. My God, help me. Help me, oh God. <sighs> another proverb, another proverb, another proverb, another proverb. <sighs> ah, to have no elders is to surrender your eyes. To have no elders is to surrender your eyes. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. To have no elders is to surrender your eyes. Kipling Primus, I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Gregory Seaton, the way I love you would blow your mind. Raven Santos, thank y'all for being here with me. Anita Hammond, my sister from Menifee, Arkansas. I love you. I love you. I love you. Wow. Okay, two more Proverbs, two more Proverbs. Here I go. Send them to me, y'all. Send it to me in the spirit. I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. And the truth of the matter is, 
I, I'm trusting. I'm trusting God, but I'm also trusting me. I'm trusting Omotosho Jojo Mani. Absolutely. I'm trusting Daniel Black. I'm trusting that I've done enough work over these 30 years of my academic career that I ought, to, I ought to have something to say. That's right. Gabriel Cloud, stand with me. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next proverb. <sighs> where you're from is not necessarily where you've been. What? Where you're from is not necessarily where you've been. Now, now, when I tell you the Holy Ghost just gave me that, where you're from is not necessarily where you've been. Ooh. This is what messes up so many people, so many black folks in America who are not clear that they're African because they've never been to Africa, but it is where they're from. Oh, God, tonight, listen, I'm getting my help. I'm getting my help. I'm getting my help. I'm getting my help. I am getting my help. Y'all stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, next proverb, next proverb, next proverb. <sighs> mm. The point of music, the point of music is to speak what language cannot say. The point of music is to speak what language cannot say. Wow, wow. The point of music is to speak what language can not say. God, y'all stay with me. Stay with me. Don't leave me out here, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. The point of music is to speak what language cannot say. My God, talk to me, oh God. Talk to me, oh God. Talk to me, oh God. Another one. Just because you have light doesn't mean you have understanding. What? Just because you have light does not mean you have understanding. Listen, you can flip on a switch and have light. You cannot flip on a switch and have insight. Woo! You can't flip on a switch and have insight. You can flip on a switch and have light. Oh my God. Talk to me, God. God. That thing just blessed me, y'all. That thing just blessed me right there. Lord have mercy, that just blessed me. That just blessed me. Okay, next one. Some of your lovers are not your preference. Some of your lovers are not your preference. Oh, God. Miguel Chappelle, you know I love you. You know I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Some of your lovers are not your preference. Listen. Wanjiku, listen, I have lived long enough to know that there were people adored me whom I simply didn't prefer as I was announcing that no one wanted me. I've done it. I've done it. Let me tell you, I've done that. Can somebody be a witness with me? There were people running after me as I was running after somebody else. Listen, huh? Am I talking good? Am I talking good? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, God, help me tonight. 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 Woo-wee. That thing just hit me like a brick. That thing just hit me like a brick. Woo. Okay, one more. One more. One more. One more. Larissa, hey, cuz. Hey, girl. Okay, one more. One more. One more proverb. Help me out. Help me out, Holy Ghost. Help me out. Help me out. Okay, I'm looking around. Send it to me, oh, God. Let me pull it from, pull it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Say what you mean and sit down. <sighs> Say what you mean and sit down. Say what you mean and sit down, which means you don't have to over elaborate it. You, you don't have to say it again and again and again and again because people didn't get it. Say what you mean and sit down because it's either correct or it's not. But sit in the notion that it is. And if it isn't, if it isn't, accept that too. But say it and be through with it. Vivian Parks, what's happening, my sister? What's going on? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm kind of in the spirit here a little minute. So I might pull one more Proverbs. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the spirit here. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Ah, death is your sign 
that there's a level you don't see. Death is your sign that there is a level you don't see. God Almighty, help me on this thing here this evening. Help me, oh God. Death is a sign that there's a level you can't see. Oh God, that thing is all over me. Woo-wee. Okay, y'all, my God, my God, my God. I'm just trusting myself. I'm just trusting God. I have no guide. I have, hey, I came with nothing this evening. No, that's not true. I came with everything. I came with nothing pre-known. I came with nothing pre-planned, but I came with everything. And so where I'm gonna move into this lesson to, is to say to all of you this and to say to myself this. Why in the world would a people who have a history of lynchings, a people who have a history of marching in the streets, a people who have a history of building railroads, a people who built the very White House itself, turn around and doubt themselves. Why would people do that? Why would people do that? Because the main thing that we have been taught in this country, the main thing we have been taught in this country is a thing called second guessing. Second guessing. It might work, I'm not sure. It probably will, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. So stay with me, stay with me. I'm just in the spirit, I'm just in the spirit. So if we're not careful, y'all, we compromise the destiny before we even start it. God, help me. We comp taille. we compromise the destiny before we even start it. Oh my God, help me on this evening. And when we do that, what ends up happening is the end result the end result of the project never looks like the dream. Oh, God, the end result of what you did, it's not, you're not quite satisfied. It's not exactly what I meant. That's not, that's not really quite what I imagined. And it's because in our own self-sabotage, we shaved away the brilliance. We shaved away the sharp edges. We shaved away the stuff we didn't think was going to work. Oh, my God. And so you got the core of an apple but you didn't get the whole fruit. You didn't get the whole fruit because you questioned it. You doubted it. You were unsure. You were uncertain. And so you said, you know, let me make this safe. Hey, let me make this idea palatable to the average person. Let me see if I can reconfigure what I'm thinking about. You know, I, I, I said I was going to open a business. Well, maybe I won't open a business. Maybe I'll um, cook some dinners, you know, just out of my own kitchen. So yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'll cook some dinners out of my own kitchen. And then if anybody wants it, they can come buy it from me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? We're doing it all the time. We're doing it all the time. We're doing it all the time. We agree. We agree to sabotage our own destiny because it's too amazing even to you. It, a glance at your own destiny scares you. Black folks in the old church used to sing a song that said, only a look. Now, most of y'all too young for this. You're not going to get it. Only a look. Oh, God, help me. The, the lyric said, only a look at Jesus. I never really understood that song until I became grown. And what hit me once I became an adult is black folks talking to Jesus, talking about Jesus. Hey, always on the throne with Jesus, always teaching children about Jesus. That song says, one day, I'm going to behold this notion of salvation face to face. And that will be enough to justify all the sorrow I have ever known. And what I'm saying to you right now is, I'm saying the same thing for you and your destiny. Only a look. Take a look at what your own self. Take a look at your dreams, y'all. Take a look at what you've imagined about yourself. I didn't say take a look at how you feel about yourself. I didn't say that. I said take a look at what you've imagined you could be. Take a look at what you've imagined you might want. Take a look at what you dreamed in your head that would be the excellence of your existence. Take a look at that. Consider it again. Come on, Raymond Randall. Only a look will be enough if you'll just trust God. 
If you'll just trust you, trust you. Listen, trusting you and trusting God is supposed to be the same trust. Oh, God, trusting you and trusting God is supposed to be the same trust. You and God on the same team. What? I'm trying to learn to trust God. Then you're trying to learn to trust you. Oh, God, help me today. I don't know where I am, y'all. Stay with me. 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 Stay with me, somebody. Stay with me, somebody. There's something about this notion of how we sabotage ourselves. Y'all, I'm a writer, right? I'm a writer. I will write something and be unsure of the quality of it myself. That's right. I do it all the time. I write something and I mean toil over it. Toil over it. Write it. Rewrite it. Rewrite it. Rewrite it. Edit it again. I'm talking. Uh, listen. Edit it again and again. And then... Wonder, wonder if it's beautifully written. What? What? I do it all the time. I'm just in vulnerability today, right? I do it all the time. I do it all the time. God must be disappointed sometimes. Why? Because God gives all this creativity, all this creativity, and then we turn around and try to modify it and give it back to God. I have to go. What? We take what God has given, shape it down to something that human consciousness can behold and try to turn that back around and give it back to God as an offering. No, sir. No, sir. Unacceptable. I have an elder who tells me all the time, A, own what you do. Own it yourself. Own your excellence. Own your excellence. Claim your excellence. Claim your own glory. But in America, what we as African people have been trained to do is question our own glory, is to wonder about it. That's the inheritance of what it has mean, meant to live under white supremacy if you're black in this country, is to reconsider the possibility of your grandeur, right? To pray about whether or not you're beautiful. Oh God, help me today. Help me today, help me today, help me. Sometimes y'all, God is silent because God has answered everything we've ever asked God five million times. Oh, God. God's silence is not because God does not agree. God's silence is not because God ain't said. God's silence is because I've said it to you so many times. When are you just going to trust that what I said is what I meant? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are marvelous. You are amazing. You are glorious. You are fantastic. What? You are magnificent. You are incredible. You are gorgeous. You are splendid. You are mighty. Do we think God just loves platitudes? Black people, stay with me today. We think God is just full of fluff? Oh, my God. Help me today. Somebody help me today. Somebody help me today. Somebody help me today. You got to claim the fullness of yourself. Y'all, I have no script. You got to claim the fullness of who you are. You've got to declare to yourself. I didn't say to nobody in the world. Because if you declare to yourself and you believe it, there's no other declaration that needs to happen. If you believe it yourself, there is no other declaration that needs to happen. Listen to me. Listen to me. I got my help now. Listen to me. You know what's deep about Jesus? Jesus never said who Jesus was. Jesus said, hey, listen. Oh, my God. I am that I am. <laughs> that is so heavy. I am that I am. Now, if we walk with and we work with the verb to be I am, right? I am that I am. In other words, I is which means I exist. I was. I was, I am, I is, I shall be. I will have been being by this time tomorrow. Last week, I will have been. Listen, uh -huh, I'm always what I am. I am what I am. And so when folks said, Jesus, who are you? Jesus said, hey, listen, let the world answer the question. <laughs> Help me today. Let the wor world, universe. Hey, universe, who am I? Oh, God. And the universe will start answering. The very birds in the tree will start chirping. The, woo, the branches of the tree will start waving their limbs. Hey, God, help me today. And people will start saying, that's the son of God. Oh, I know him. He healed me. I didn't have, I don't, I, I. I never had any medicine and he healed me. Oh my God, that's the sweetest woman I've ever known on the planet. Oh my God. In other words, when you get clear about yourself, listen to me. Hey, 
When you get clear about yourself, when you get clear about who you is, I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the verb to be, stay with me. When you get clear about who you is, when you get clear about who your people was, come on, when you get clear about who the children will be, you don't have to open your mouth. You don't have to justify. You don't have to justify yourself. You don't have to explain nothing. You don't have to be unclear. You don't have to be insecure. Come on, somebody. You don't have to be insecure. You don't have to be insecure. Be what you be. The insecurity is always in you, not the other person looking at you. We think it's the other people who make us insecure. No, the thing that makes us insecure is what other people are asking about us. We are unsure of the answer. Oh, God help me today. God help me today. When people question us, what makes us insecure is we're not sure what they're going to do with the answer. But here's the secret today. They can't do nothing with it. <laughs> they can't do nothing with it. The only thing they can do is announce it. Why? Because they didn't create breath. Somebody's going to get that right there. The people you're worried about, the people you're, you're, you're concerned about in terms of what they might think about you, they didn't create breath. They didn't make any breath. There's no sun in the sky that has their fingerprints on it. I'm talking good to somebody here on this screen. I'm talking good to somebody. They did not make the moon come up at night. What? <laughs> These people who, whom we, we, because I'm in it, I'm in it. These people we are concerned about in terms of who we are and what we are. These people here who are concerned they have zero power except the power from me that I put in their hands because I didn't know what I have myself. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Skip Mason, stay with me. Stay with me. Gina Jones, stay with me. I didn't know what I had. And so I gave half of it away. Why? I gave half of it away because I didn't believe in it myself. Oh, my God. Help me, God. Oh, God. Help me. I didn't believe in that half. It was too glorious. It was too amazing. It was too wonderful. It was too grand. And all of that grandness could not possibly be me. Why? Because I ain't really nothing. I've made too many errors. I've made too many bad mistakes. Oh, my God. I've messed up too bad. I didn't do as well in school as I should have. I had too many boyfriends who were who who, who were no good. I, ch I chose too many women who didn't honor me. Oh, my God. I had kids before I was supposed to have kids. Oh, my God. Right. So the list goes on and on and on. And you think those things are enough to suggest, to suggest that you are not amazing and grand. And so we give our grandeur away and we agree to be regular. Ha! Listen. I've done it. I've done it. Does somebody understand what I'm saying to you? I have done it. I have done it. Ooh, God help me on today. Lord God help me. Will somebody please be my strength on today? I've done it. But I'm trying my best to practice my way out of it. I don't have it completely. I'm not trying to tell you at all that I have it completely. In fact, this right here is the first time I've ever done this in my life. I've spoken a million times to a million different people. But I never got up to the podium and I didn't already think I knew what I was going to say. Tonight, I don't have the, I didn't have the, and I don't have the slightest idea what's coming out of my word, what's coming out of my mouth next. But what I'm trying to do is either trust God or don't. Come on, Chapopia, either trust God or don't, or don't. And plan out everything. Attempt to plan your whole, plan out every single thing if you can. What I'm trying to do is, I know the beauty of planning. I know the fruit of planning. Beautiful thing. You got to have it. What I'm also trying to do is, I'm trying to be ready when God moves outside of my plan. I'm trying to be ready when God moves outside of my plan. Mm -hmm. I don't want God to catch me off guard. And what I mean by off guard is, I don't want God to catch me where I'm too scared to follow God. Ow! I don't want God to catch me when I ain't ready to follow God. I don't want God to come by with my destiny and, me, and, and I say, well, God, you know, go ahead on. Because uh, not yet. Uh, I don't really think it's my time yet. Mm, I better grind a little harder. When God shows up, and if most of you know God the way I know God, God sends no pre-announcements. Huh? God just comes. The old folks used to say, God never comes when you want him. 
And the truth of the matter is, thank God God doesn't come when we want him. Because most of us want God too late. In other words, we want God after we think we're ready. After we think we've perfected the thing. After we think we have done all the studying. After we think that we have done all the things necessary so that it's bound to work. Oh, it's got to work now. Oh, the thing. Oh, I'm ready, right? I prepared for it. No, 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 no. God, I want you to, I want you, God, to press me. I want you to come, oh God, whenever you are clear that the excellence is already in me. And I'm telling you right now, the excellence is already in me. Omotosho, the excellence is already in you. What I'm doing now, what I'm doing now is sharing excellence. Sharing excellence. That's right. That's right. I'm going to claim it. I don't want to claim any arrogance, but what I do want to claim is excellence. <laughs> I want to claim no arrogance, but I want to claim, I absolutely want to claim excellence. Absolutely. I've journeyed people, y'all, I've done rites of passage for 30 years of my life. I've taught at Clark Atlanta University for 30 years of my life. I have been reading books and writing papers and writing novels, and I've been doing, I've been, I've been governing, helping to govern people's lives. I have been playing the piano. I've been choir directing all of my life and for me to wonder if there's something in me is a shame before God I'm done with it I'm done with it I'm done with it at least I'm trying to be done with it help me hey y'all get done with it too get done with it yourselves too believe in you you believe in you believing in God ain't a, listen that ain't deep have you ever noticed that the people who don't believe in God God never argues <laughs> God doesn't trouble the atheists. God does not trouble the atheists. God does not disturb the atheist's sleep. God does not wreak havoc on the atheist's life. God does not say to the agnostic, you ought to be shame of yourself. God does not trouble folks who don't believe in God. Why? Because believing in God is not God's power. <sighs> what? You believing in God is not God's power. God's power is that God believes in God's self. And you get to join in if you like. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The same is true with you. If someone says they don't like you, what you can say is, ah. <laughs> That's all that needs to be said. That's all that needs to be said. Someone tells you that you're ugly. What you can say is, ah. And what you can know in, in your head is they have not yet encountered the expanse of beauty's possibilities. Huh? Huh? Uh-huh. 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 Y'all push share if you haven't done it. If y'all don't mind sharing this, share, please. Just share with share right now. We're trying to get this message out to the universe, to the world. So if you wouldn't, if you would not mind sharing, I would appreciate that. I'm gonna say two last things to you that's coming now in my spirit. That's extremely, 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 extremely important. And that is, y'all, the number one most attractive thing on the planet, the number one most attractive thing on the planet is not beauty. We all know beauty fades. We all got that. We all know that. At least we know it philosophically, right? We all know that. The most attractive thing on the planet is not money. It is not. The most attractive thing on the planet is confidence. It's confidence. The most attractive thing on the planet is confidence. Listen, here's how you know. The universe around us is nothing but, but an ensemble of confidence. The tree in my front yard is naked as can be, and it has never been ashamed of itself. Oh my God, help me today. And there are all kinds of trees as you know, there are oak trees, there are, there are pine trees, of course, the, you know, um, uh, there are evergreen trees. And, and every tree, every tree is confident in its treeness, in the difference of its own treeness. The same is true with animals. Y'all know what? Animals have sex right out in public. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we should go do that. Yeah, get the, but the point is they don't hide. They don't hide to be vulnerable. Oh, God, help me today. Y'all, when a flower blooms, stay with me, black people. Stay with me, white people. Stay with me, Asian people. Stay with me, Native American people. Listen, we're all really, truly, truly one human people trying our best to get clear of the fact that we're God. 
oh my God, help me today. Listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very, when a flower blooms, every flower blooms in its own being. It blooms in its own beauty. It has its own color. Whether you like it, that's wonderful. If you don't, it doesn't make any difference. It blooms in its own color. And our job as human beings is to learn to love it. The job of the flower is not to try to figure out if we prefer it. Our job is to learn to love. A lily is gorgeous. A chrysanthemum is breathtaking. A rose is awe-inspiring. Huh? A four o'clock is dazzling. Hey! And that's true with our human difference too. I struggle with this all the time. So I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you. I have wanted all my life to be a different kind of flower. I wanted to be a, because those other flowers seem to, other people seem to love them more. Can somebody stay with me? Somebody seem to appreciate, somebody seem to prefer other kinds of flowers. Now, if I have to cry my way through it, I'm going to do it. They seem to like other kinds of flowers. People didn't seem to like the kind of flower I was. And I learned that very, very early in life. So I began to figure out how in the world can I become one of these other kinds of flowers? How can I figure out how to be one of these other kinds? of plants right? and I tried oh God from heaven I tried but in trying the only thing I achieved was the denial of my own bloom I never became the other ones and the beauty of my bloom I denied well let me tell you something right here and now can I tell y'all something? Let me tell you something right here and now. The bloom of this black man right here, baby, the whole universe is about to see it. Did you hear me? And stay with me. And if no one in the universe sees it, it will still be its own glorious bloom. And that's the secret. The secret is that the bloom has got to love the bloom. Hey! The bloom has got to love the bloom. You got to love the bloom yourself all by yourself. The rose doesn't wait until a human is watching before it bursts forth. Huh? Stay with me, somebody now. Stay with me. Somebody stay with me. Oh, my God. Eddie Glaude, I love you, man. I love you. I appreciate you. You have no idea how much I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know what I mean. The rose does not wait for, for, for human eyes to give it permission to bloom. Ilya Davis, I love you. Ilya Davis is one of my best friends in the whole wide world. Listen, what you got to really understand is your job is to bloom because you love your own blooming. And I, listen, I'm telling you, I figured out I loved it. I, I have figured it out. I have figured it out. Baby, I love this black bloom. Uh-huh. And there's all kinds of things about me that I was clear folks didn't like before. That now, here's, stay with me, folks also don't like now. <laughs> but I do. But I do. And I'm going to tell you the secret I have discovered. And that is, if you'll love it, love goes with it. Oh, God. If you'll love the bloom that you are, that bloom will carry the majesty of your love with it. And it will force other people's ashe. Oh, but you got to love it first yourself. You got to love it first yourself. You got to love it first yourself. I grew up as a little effeminate boy. I grew up but with people saying I was too dramatic. I grew up with people saying that I cried too much. Oh my God. I grew up with people saying all of these things about me. I grew up with folks worrying about whether or not I was going to be gay or not. Listen, I grew up with all of that. I grew up with people saying you only sissies play the piano. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen to me. And playing that piano, stay with me, fed me and other people. Somebody's going to get it. <laughs> God, what are you doing to me? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <clears throat> I later earned money. Stay with me. Somebody's going to get this. And I sent money to the same people who hated the thing in me that fed them. But, but you got to bloom out of your own blue beauty. Don't be, listen, don't bloom out of vengeance. Don't bloom out of vengeance. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Because then, the, cause then, if you will, the radiant beauty of your bloom gets diminished. You'll still bloom, but it's diminished. Why? Because too much of your energy is being directed at other people. Mm -mm. The point of your bloom is for you to just be magical.
The point of your bloom is for you to just be marvelous. The point of your bloom is for you to just be wonderful because you were just sent wonderful. Whew. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Now listen, I want to do one other thing today too. Listen, when I tell you I have just been out on the limb, y'all, I'm literally shivering and I'm shivering because, oh my God, it worked. It worked. It worked. I didn't know I was going to say any of this. I didn't have any of this planned. I didn't have, I didn't think one thing. I didn't know nothing about none of the Proverbs. I didn't think any of this through. And it worked. And it worked because God already had it in me. God already had it in me. When I sit down and plan, I'm pulling it up. So it, it's got to come from somewhere. I'm a part of an amazing, amazing community called Ndugu and Nzinga. You know, I've said this many, many, many times. Ndugu and Nzinga is a rites of passage nation in a place called Atlanta, Georgia. And we're people who are practice, practicing doing this. And that is we're practicing aligning our spirit with God's spirit. We're practicing discovering our gifts and our excellence and our talents. And we're practicing using those in such a way that feeds the universe. Right. There might be somebody on this screen who just says, my God, that kind of place, that kind of that kind of place that does that kind of work. Now, I want to support that. Right. We have a process called the Bets Arrive. And the Bets Arrive, the Bets Arrive is a place whereby we simply take care of our own. Nobody gets paid. Not a dime goes to any human being as employment. All we simply do is pour our resources together so that we can help each other bloom. That's what we do. If there's anybody on here who might be interested, you just might be interested in supporting this place called Ndugu and Nzinga, this black rites of passage nation that builds up people to do what I just did tonight, to take a risk on yourself. $5, $10, $50, $150. We have, we poured into what's called the Bet Sarai, right? So our cash app is, and somebody's going to text it. Somebody put it in the chat here. Dollar sign Bet Sarai. B-E-T-S-E-R-A-I. B-E-T. Bet S-E-R-A-I. Dollar sign. Bet Sarai. And that is simply somebody saying, I believe in what y'all are doing. I believe in that. I believe in that. My God. And these Friday spiritual times have fed me. These dollars, these, these spiritual times have fed Fed me. If you're saying they have fed me, feed the bets awry a little bit and help us help each other. Help us take care of each other. Help us honor each other. Help us take care of one another. Now, I'm in the community. I'm in the community. I started the community. And I'm going to put $100 in the bets awry myself right now. Because I believe, stay with me, I believe in planting seed in the soil that you toil. I believe planting right at home. I believe, come on somebody, I believe in planting where you live. That's right. I, that's right. The soil of Indugan and Zinga is the richest soil I have ever seen in the, in the diaspora. It is not perfect. It is not perfect. But baby, when I tell you, it is excellent. It is excellent. It is excellent. And if anybody would say, I have been fed, I really truly have been fed. I have been fed. The word Betsarai itself means literally we take care of our own. So if anybody wants to make a blessing to the Betsarai, we would absolutely be appreciative. We would be appreciative. We would be, I won't get one dime from it. Not one dime from it. All we're doing is taking up resources so that we can take care of each other. Right? So if you want to make a donation to the Betsarai, I would be really, we as a community would be enormously, enormously appreciative. So the final thing I'm going to say is this. The final thing I'm going to say is this. Final thing I'm going to say is this. The most attractive thing is confidence. Play with the idea that you look just like God. I want you to play with the idea that when you look in the mirror, that's how God imagined God's self. Woo! I want you to play around with the idea that when you look into the mirror, that's what God imagined God looked like. And then in another second, the other person who looked in the mirror, that's what God imagined God looks like. See, that's the magic and that's the beauty of God. That's the magic and that's the beauty of the creator. That's the magic and that's the beauty of the ashe, that the, of N2. And that is every single one of us was exactly God at one second. Y'all are amazing. You're beautiful. You're fantastic. You're nothing but the precious 
Holy Ghost. I love you. I'll see you again next week.